Yeah, good day everyone. I want to do a little bit on shed science and for that basically need a shed and this is my messy shed that I like to call home and do a few projects so have a quick look around but I'm a bit ashamed of a mess here but anyway it's what good's a shed if you don't have a mess so that's projects in progress I suppose Anyway, have a look around here, lots of old gear, old radios and lots of future projects waiting to be done. A bit of electronics end here. Yeah, a lot of stuff, need a bigger shed. But the birds don't mind it, the birds got a little nest up here. The mob are gone now, so. so I don't think there's much in there at all. Maybe a couple of big spiders, but who knows? The birds have been getting in through this broken window, but happened some time ago, which I haven't quite got around to fixing, but maybe one day. You know, you can have a look over here. There's a lot of electrical, mechanical devices on the shelf, electric motors. old servo motors, all sorts of stuff that are getting harder to find. Most of these are old DC motors and stuff these days are all stepper motors and which need specific drivers to make them work. No medical devices, you name it, it's all here. The mechanical area, stationary engines and gear like that. Anyway, what I was going to look at What's this thing I've prepared and what I have here is a Crooks tube. It's an early scientific device that was demonstrating that electrons have a mass so when the mass electrons flow through the tube they cause a little pinwheel in the tube to roll. So it's sort of basically what it looks like. Anyway I put this over here so what we need to make this thing work is a high voltage support so it's a power supply so this is one I've sort of prepared out of bits and pieces. So, what's in here is an old uh, T Ford coil which is sort of falling apart but it's usable. Some gel batteries and switch to make it work. So, anyway, when it works, it sort of throws a few thousand volts between the wires. Okay, now I have a Crooks tubes connected. And I just need to knock over a few lights here. Kill that one. Right there. Let's just see what happens here. So a flow of electrons from one electrode to another push the paddle wheel along and also causes little fluorescent bits on it to glow. One of the risks playing with these high voltage devices is that with higher voltages you can actually generate x-rays which can be quite hazardous so I can give you a quick demonstration of that. Anyway, it's, if you mob decided to muck around some high voltage things, you've got spare bits lying around your sheds, just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching.